What is up, Reef Fam? I hope everybody's having a great day today. In today's video, I just want to go ahead and give you an update on the zoanthids in my reef tank. And the reason why I want to give you this update is because some are really starting to take off and they're really starting to crowd out other zoas and it's time to get in there and hack and chop. So I want to show you what I have before I start hacking and chopping. Also, you might see something new hanging above my reef tank. And yes, that is some new lighting I'm trying out and I really, really like it. But we're gonna to leave to talk about the lighting for another video. And let's just really give a close look at those zoanthids. And I hope you enjoy this video. <music> into this video let's go ahead and talk about the zoanthids i currently have i'm just going to quickly go through them most well all of the zoanthids in my reef tank are on the right side and i'm just going to go through the names real quick we have the hawaiian ding dings we have some purple monsters a nice beautiful colony of utter chaos down here on the sand bed we have uh, pink zippers, Miami Vice, Vamps and Drag, uh, the Rainbow Incinerators, Queen Strats back here, um, Lazy Lashes, uh, Jason Fox Stargazers, Bam Bams, uh, Nirvanas, and as you can see, the Nirvanas are choking out the Rastas right there orange oxides, scrambled eggs, some more purple monsters, some magicians, these beautiful no-named uh, zoas. Well, they might have a name, but I don't know what name they are. If you do know, go ahead and tell me in the comment section. They're pretty cool looking. And up here, my favorite frag and the most expensive frag of zoas in my collection the hallucinations and yeah like i said so these are the most expensive also my favorite zoa in my zoa garden and they are super bright super full of color and they have been growing good um i wanted to talk to you mostly about um the ones that i want to frag so the ones that i've been wanting to frag to put in a frag tank are these no named ones along with the nirvanas because they are really crowding out the rastas right there um also um these bam bams came from a good friend of mine billy pipes and Billy, they're doing great and they look great. So thanks for that amazing frag. Also another special one to me are these Lazy Lashes. They came from my buddy Murphy's Aquatics here on um, YouTube. I picked these up from him at Reef of Palooza and these are from his LFS Lazy's Coral House. Uh, my buddy, Pat actually just put a video out on uh, Lazy's Coral House. I'm going to put the link to that in the top right now. It's right in the top corner. Go ahead and click on it if you want to watch. Um, Lazy's Coral House has some amazing candy in there, and you might want to go check that video out. Another one I wanted to talk about was these rainbow incinerators right here. Let me get a close-up. Billy did a video of Fishy Snowman's tank and they kind of called me out. They wanted to see how they were growing. Look how all my fish is getting away. They wanted to see how mine were growing compared to his and Billy and Fishy. Mine currently have six heads. You can't see it, but one back there in the corner at the top is closed up, but I have six heads i don't know how many fish he has right now but i'm up to six me and fishy snowman got these both at the same time at the philly splash so we're kind of having a little competition on who's growing it the quickest and my sec so i said the hallucinations were my favorite and my second favorite 
would have to be the utter chaos. They just look amazing. They're always happy and always super fluffy. And yeah, so this guy, so there you go, you guys. This is my Zoa collection as it stands right now. I go, I, I want to go ahead and I want to add another rock so I can go ahead and glue all these and get them out the sand bed so they can grow quicker because they do not grow as quick when they're in the sand. As soon as I glued these to this rock, that's when they really took off. So I'm gonna be adding a rock and gluing all these to a rock. And I'm gonna be, as I said, getting rid of these Nirvanas and putting them in the frag tank because they are crowding out my Rastas and I really like Rastas. So this is my quick little update video of my zoanthids. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, you guys. All right, thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit my logo. Also, turn on that notification bell to get further updates. And if you haven't seen any of these videos, go ahead and click and watch. Thank you.